Hi, and welcome back to Market Conversations. Today, I'm going to talk about sundial growers as well as Zometica. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and stick around until the end. But before I continue, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started a Patreon page where like-minded people can talk anything and everything about stocks, options, cryptocurrencies, and I will also be sharing my trades on there as well. So if you guys are interested, it is 33 cents a day. I will go ahead and post my link down below. So Sundial is down 12% today and it's not stopping. So let's see what the news is. Sundial announces holders of 98 million warrants will exercise adds 80 cents and one dollar and ten cents for gross proceeds of 89.1 million dollars it says in exchange the company will issue 98 million warrants each entitling the holders to purchase one common share at an exercise price of one dollar and fifty cents Sundial has granted the holders rights to have the common shares issuable upon exercise of the new warrants. People are panic selling. But I'm holding strong. I only have 300 shares at 250. And I believe that once the Biden administration decriminalizes marijuana, this can easily go to $4. We have to realize this was trading around 20 cents back in November and see how much it's moved since then it went all the way above 350 early this month it can easily go back again if there's positive catalyst but right now it hasn't there hasn't been any positive catalyst other than the warrants today and also they issued up to one billion dollars in securities over time, but they were able to regain NASDAQ compliance, which is important because they won't get delisted. We have to think about the positive things of Sanda, which will be the Biden administration. Their balance sheet is healthy. They are no longer in debt. If you guys are holding on to Sanda, I would consider selling cover calls to generate extra money if you have 100 shares or more. What I mean by that is you can collect possibly $10 to $13. It's exactly what I did. I have three contracts with with a strike price of $250. So what this is saying is I'm willing to let go of my shares at $250 if the stock price goes to $250 or above. If it doesn't, this contract expires worthless. But no matter what the outcome is, I get to keep the premium, which is $13. So 13 times 3, that's $39 I was able to collect. And that will go to my account immediately. And also, it reduces the cost basis. So that's what I did since I have a average cost average of $250. Early this week, I sold a cover call. That's just one strategy. But the only downside to it is if Sundial goes above 250, you miss the upside potential. But right now, it doesn't seem that Sundial is going to go above 250. Not until we get some positive catalyst. I was down for a while when, as we can see, it went down to 20 cents. I have bought in back early September around 50 cents. So sometimes you just have to hold until there is a catalyst and then once that happens it shoots up that's when you sell so you look how many times they go up once in november it went to 50 cents and then of course this big jump to 90 cents and then it came right back down so there are many pops throughout this year what can happen again you guys don't need the cash hold on to your shares and sell cover calls let's take a look at Zometica. Zometica right now is up 4%. And we can see that it is hovering around 225. Very strong support at 220. We see that it bounced off of support 221 twice, 
three, four times this month already. So if that can hold, if the support can hold, this can easily go back to 291 again. And they do have the True Forma product coming out in March. So that's definitely a big catalyst. And I do believe that once we get closer to commercialization, more people will jump in Zometica. And this can easily go to $4. But as we can see, there is not that much volume. So the volume is not there to push it up. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any options play. They just had an offering back early this month. They closed a 91.3 million offering a common shares at $1.90. And the net proceeds will be used for continued development of the company's diagnostic platforms, acquisitions, and other general corporate and working capital purposes. So these share offerings are bad short term because they do dilute the shares, but long term they are working to expand their company, which is good for long term investors. If it does drop, I will go ahead and add more to my position. I do have 2,500 shares at 154 because I do see this going to at least $4 by end of March when they release their true form of product. But we have to know that the product is not, not generating any revenue right now. So we have to keep that in mind. Big catalyst is the sale of True Forma. We also want to take a quick look at Luquan. Okay, so this one is down 2% today. It's not down too much. And it is also bouncing off the support of 220 five three times already this past week so it's acting as a very strong support and as you know they also did a offering and this was raised 100 million via equity sales to institutional investors so this is institutional meaning big companies are willing to buy shares at luquan to hold for long, mid or long-term investing and this says the offering proceeds will be utilized for working capital and is estimated to be closed today. Possibly once it closes, more people will buy Luquan, which will drive the stock up. So they have been raising money this month and they're all institutional. And the institutionals are buying Luquan and they believe that Luquan's price will go higher. I do have 1,000 shares, and that is in my Robinhood account, and I'm actually going to plan on buying more today if it drops below 230. Just wanted to share this update, and thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys are in any of these three stocks. Also, do consider the Patreon page. We are looking for like-minded people so that we can all build up our portfolios. Thanks again.